Insert a small, flat-headed screwdriver under the U-shaped band on the end of the support. Lift upwards just a little on the band until it releases from the ball in the vehicle and with the tug pull the support from the vehicle. Repeat to remove both supports from the vehicle. Make sure that you note the orientation of the old support. Compare your old and new support to ensure they are the same dimensions. If they are more than a quarter inch difference, please contact us before continuing. Note that with many applications, the orientation has been reversed to help ensure a longer life for the support. Confirm that the end fittings on both sides of this support look similar to the original. Generally, the rule is that with the lid in the closed position, the shaft is pointing downward. Inspect the U-shaped band on the new support to make sure it is centered properly. If not, it can be adjusted now. It is best to install the shaft end of the support first. Press over the dud and press firmly. When going to install the body side of the support, you may find that it is not aligned. You need to turn the entire body of the support clockwise till the boss socket matches up. Once installed, pull on the support near the mounting point to make sure that it is secure on the ball stud. After installing the first support, carefully lower and raise the hatch to ensure it is working properly. Inspect the U-shaped band on the new support to make sure it is centered properly. If not, it can be adjusted now. It is best to install the shaft end of the support first. Place ball socket on the support end over the ball stud and press firmly. When going to install the body side of the support, you may find that it is not aligned. You need to turn the entire body of the support to align it. Once installed, pull on the support near the mounting point to make sure that it is secure on the ball stud. 